Good morning uh, to our partners here, the media, and our community partners. Today is a big day in the uh, history of the Toronto Crime Stoppers program as we start to launch our app program. I'm Lauren Simon from Toronto Crime Stoppers, past chair, media director, a lot of hats here. But today we're going to talk to all the partners that made this possible. First of all, let's go to Mike Bag, who is also a past chair and a board member for Crime Stoppers. Thank you. Good morning, everybody, and thanks very much for being here. It's my pleasure to, to be with you this morning to represent the board of directors of Crime Stoppers and to announce the latest tool in the Crime Stoppers Prime, Crime Prevention Program. The mobile app that uh, we're launching today has been in development for quite some time. And the key priority, the key, the key item in that development process was to be able to ensure the confidentiality of the tipster. So there's been a, a lot of development, a lot of testing, but first and foremost is to guarantee that anonymity to the tipster, making sure that when the tip comes in, we have the information, the appropriate amount of information that we can relate to the police and, and the tipster's identity remains confidential. Uh, this mobile app is the latest tool in the arsenal of crime prevention that Crime Stoppers offers to the citizens of Toronto. This mobile app will allow them to, to send us pictures and video immediately uh, upon seeing a crime that's happening. So we're very pleased and very proud of the work that's been done by our partner, Cellflare, Mr. Keith Sow, uh, in developing this and uh, we look forward to uh, to moving forward uh, and, and the many downloads that will happen on all of the various uh, mobile platforms uh, available to our uh, to our citizens across Toronto. In 1997 the Supreme Court ruled that uh, the anonymity of tipsters is guaranteed and it's guaranteed by the Supreme Court of Canada. That was in a 1997 decision in Regina versus Liebert. That decision still stands and that stands in regards to the identity of the tipster. So anybody that will be using this mobile app, that guarantee by the Supreme Court of Canada still stands. Their, their anonymity is completely guaranteed. Supreme Court says it is, and it will continue to do so. Uh, once again, thank you all for coming out to the application launch for the Toronto Crime Stoppers. So I'm going to walk you through some of the basic features of the mobile application and I'm proud to do so. Um, the first page is kind of related to the way the user can submit tips through the mobile application to communicate to the Toronto Crime Stoppers. Uh, the first two areas are based around the phone's uh, camera feature. So the first is gives the user the ability to submit a video tip. The second is to submit a photo tip. Uh, the third is to basically call the Toronto Crime Stoppers unit, and the fourth is to submit an email tip. The next page is more so information based, so it gives you the crime of the past week. Uh, it finds the nearest police station based on your geographical location. Um, it highlights the Toronto's most wanted criminals at the current time, and it allows you connect the, to connect them via social media and their current news feed off their website. Uh, the last portion of the application is your tip status section. So when you do submit a tip through the mobile application, uh, this area categorizes it for you. The secure area categorizes all your tips that you have sent in to the Toronto Crime Stoppers. So heading back to the first page, I'll quickly demonstrate the submit a video tip. So once you select the button, it brings up the phone's camera feature and it allows you to record up to a 60 second video. And once you are finished recording your video to start, Simply tap the red record button once finished, tap the red record button once more, and it brings up this very basic contact form. So the overall idea was to develop the application with ease of use in mind, so any user can do this process very quickly. Uh, this can be one of many things. It could be a drunk driver swerving in and out of traffic on the DVP. It could be drugs in your community. It could be violent crime. Whatever the case may be, simply fill out your optional subject form, attach any additional comments to the form as well to give the Toronto Crime Stoppers a bit more information. And once you submit, it opens up a progress bar and uh, prompts the user not to close the application during this process. And it provides you a unique password and a unique PIN so you can cross-reference your submitted tips in the future. Heading back now, the submit a photo tip works in a very similar method. It brings up the cameras or the mobile phones camera feature. It also allows you to open the library to take some previously saved photos or videos to submit, submit them to the Toronto Crime Stoppers. The next page, something as simple as find the nearest police station in your vicinity. 
So you tap the feature and it lists every division throughout Toronto and it also gives you a map view. So it zooms into a map of Toronto and allows you to zoom in and find the police station nearest to you. Upon selecting one of the police stations, it gives you more um, information in regards to contact details, contact phone number, and turn-by-turn -turn GPS directions right to the location. The final uh, section that I will demonstrate for you is going to be Toronto's Most Wanted Criminals. Um, everybody knows about the heavily publicized cases happening in the news today, um, the recent shootings that we've had, but this kind of gives you a more broad sense of the criminal activity that's happening throughout Toronto. So it gives you, you know, the serial fraudster, the guy who's committed, you know, two assault offenses who skipped his court case. So you can enter the section, this guy has been captured, and you can also submit more information specifically about this case. Uh, we brought out about six or seven iPads so you guys can actually get a first-hand look of the mobile app if you'd like to. And uh, like Darlene said, any questions, please direct them towards me technically for the application. Do the program, please towards Darlene. Thank you.